Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today we are going to simplify one algebraic expression x square plus y square if known equations are x plus 4 equal to y minus 2 whole square and y plus 4 equal to x minus 2 whole square. Given x, y are real numbers and most important x cannot be equal to y. Let's get started by writing equation numbers first. So I will consider x plus 4 y minus 2 whole square is equation 1. Let us write our substitution. So I will write x minus 2 equal to a and y minus 2 equal to b. So from first equation I can write x is equal to a plus 2. From second equation I can write y equal to b plus 2. Now, I will rewrite our equation 1 and 2 in terms of a and b as per our substitution. Okay. So, I will write equation 1 first. x plus 4. x is a plus 2. So, x plus 4 will be a plus 6 equal to y minus 2. It is b whole square. This is our equation 1 in variable a and b. Now equation 2, y plus 4, y is b plus 2, so y plus 4 will be b plus 6 equal to x minus 2 whole square, so a whole square. And once x and y in terms of a and b is known, so we are actually calculating x square plus y square, this value will be in terms of a and b, we can write we are calculating for a plus 2 whole square plus b plus 2 whole square. Now I will take away second equation from first one. So minus 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 plus 6 minus 6 will be over a minus b equal to b square minus a square. Take all the term to LHS. So I will write a square minus b square plus a minus b equal to 0. Now I will apply the difference of two squares formula here. So I can write a plus b times a minus b plus a minus b equal to 0. a minus b is common a minus b is common out. What will be left? a plus b plus 1 equal to 0. Now f dot g equal to 0. So either we will write a minus b will be 0 or we will be writing a plus b plus 1 will be 0. So from this equation we can write a equal to b which is not true as per our condition. So we will reject this solution, rejected as a cannot be equal to b because x cannot be equal to y. Now what is left? It is only equation a plus b plus 1 equal to 0. So from here I will get a plus b equal to negative 1 which is very important result. Now I will multiply both the equations. Equation 1 in variable a and b, equation 2 in variable a and b. Let me write here. So I will be writing our equations first. Equation was a plus 6 equal to b square and b plus 6 equal to a square. So let's multiply these equations. So I will be writing a plus 6 times b plus 6 in left hand side, a square b square in right hand side. Now let us multiply a times b a b, a times 6 6 a, 6 times b 6 b, 6 times 6 36 equal to a square b square. Now I will take 6 common, 
from here. So in bracket, I can write a plus b plus 36 equal to a square b square. Now we have just calculated a plus b was negative 1. So let us put here negative 1. So I will be writing a b plus 6 times negative 1 plus 36 equal to a square b square. So I can write a b minus 6 plus 36 equal to a square b square. So a b plus 30 equal to a square b square or we are getting one quadratic in a b it would be a square b square minus a b minus 30 equal to 0. Now we know a plus b negative 1. Now we have one quadratic equation in a b. Let us find out a b first. So I will write a square b square minus a b minus 30 equal to 0. I will use method of factorization. So I can see the factors of 30 as 6 times 5. So I will split our middle term as a square b square minus 6ab plus 5ab. Product is minus 30, addition is minus 1. So I will write minus 30 equal to 0. From here we will take ab common. So ab minus 6. From here we will take 5 common. In bracket ab minus 6 equal to 0. ab minus 6 is common. So ab minus 6. In other bracket ab plus 5 equal to 0. Now f dot g equal to 0. So ab minus 6 equal to 0. So from here we will write ab equal to 6. And ab plus 5 equal to 0 then we will write ab equal to negative 5. Now a plus b is also known. I will write here a plus b equal to negative 1. Okay. Now what we are looking for? x square plus y square. So that is now in terms of a and b. This was a plus 2 whole square plus b plus 2 whole square. Let's expand a plus b whole square formula. So a square plus 4a plus 4. Here again b square plus 4b plus 4. So this is converting a square plus b square in bracket a plus b and plus 8. So this is our required expression in terms of a and b. Now notice ab is 6, ab is negative 5. So for two ab values we have to check which solution is providing us real solution. Let's check. So I will write x square plus y square. This value will be equal to a square plus b square plus 4 times a plus b plus 8. So I will write here first identity a plus b whole square in this place minus 2ab. Now rest is 4 times a plus b plus 8 and this is our required expression. Now remember x plus y was negative 1. That was a plus b was actually negative 1. So let us put, put a plus b equal to negative 1 straight away. So I will write x square plus y square equal to negative 1 square minus 2ab plus 4 times negative 1 plus 8. 
सो आई कैन राइट वन माइनस टू ए बी माइनस फोर प्लस एट सो एट प्लस वन इज नाइन नाइन माइनस फोर इज फाइव सो दिस विल बिकम फाइव माइनस टू ए बी नाउ देर आर टू ए बी वैल्यूज लेट मी पुट ए बी इक्वल टू सिक्स फर्स्ट सो देर वर टू वैल्यूज ए बी वॉज नेगेटिव फाइव लेट मी राइट ए बी नेगेटिव फाइव एंड ए बी इक्वल टू सिक्स लेट्स चेक द वैल्यूज सो आई विल राइट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फाइव माइनस टू टाइम्स माइनस फाइव सो दिस विल बिकम फाइव प्लस टेन सो आंसर बिकम्स फिफ्टीन which is true and correct now with respect to ab equal to 6 let's check x square plus y square i will write 5 minus 2 times 6 so this will be 5 minus 12 and which is equal to negative 7 if x and y both values are real then sum of two squares it cannot be negative value so this will be rejected this is not true for real solutions so which one we will accept our answer will be plus 15 or 15 so answer is x square plus y square is equal to 15 i hope friends this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye